Hey guys, welcome to ED Technology. My name is Navjot Singh Jadeja and in today's video, we are going to discuss on cybercrime. So the period of this lecture or this video will be discussing on introduction to cybercrime. So I'll give you a brief idea of what exactly cybercrime is. Then we'll define what exactly falls into the definition of cybercrime because it's a very wide uh, area in which people see a lot of things as in cyber crimes a lot of people don't understand or consider certain activities over the cyber world as in the cyber crime so we'll be defining that then we will see the history of cyber crime a lot of people don't understand where it all started and how the cyber crime has been happening for a very long period of time then we will classify different types of cyber crime and in the end we will connect cyber crime and information security because over the period of this series of videos i'll be discussing on cyber crime and also information security and how you can actually protect yourself from the cyber crime so just a quick introduction of what is cyber crime cyber crime or a computer crime is a criminal activity that involves unlawful access to the computer system so this can be while you're working and somebody accesses your computer over the internet or when you're not present with the help of certain uh, unlawful methods if you know they can access your computer cyber crime is an illegal activity committed over the internet now if we were to define how and what the cyber crime is so basically when we you know we try to define cyber crime the term cyber crime is not defined in any statute or rule book so basically it comes from cyber which is related to computers and internet or you know anything related to it sector therefore it stands to a reason that cyber crimes are offenses relating to the computers it internet or virtual reality right so in a simple language crime committed using a computer and internet to steal the data or information or even manipulate it is a cyber crime just to give you an idea of what exactly it is i've got some examples in here stealing credit card information i think that's one of the most common cyber crime which happens where a person's credit card information is stolen and used uh, you know illegally to buy a uh, purchase a lot of items over the internet breaking into government website manipulating the data is another form of cyber crime a lot of government sponsored cyber hacking also happens across the globe most of the time no, nobody you know agrees to this but this is another form of cyber crime so this is a brief idea we'll discuss that in the further uh, part of the video also now where did it started what is the history where did it start so the exact origin of cyber crime which is like first instance in which someone committed a cyber crime using a computer network is very tough to know but something which we have traced which we have in records is something which we'll be discussing so the first case of use of computer for theft was as old as 1973 where a local teller in a bank of new york used computer to embezzle over 2 million dollars guys you can understand 1973 2 million dollars that would have been a huge amount by now so that's the first case where computer was used in order to you know uh, perform a theft then a uh, first spam email which took place somewhere around 1978 so i uh, i don't know if you know this or not what is your education level when you're watching this video but sending spam emails is also one form of a cyber crime in certain countries you can be uh, behind the bars for the same first virus which was installed on apple computer was in the year 1982 now again you know disrupting the systems uh, making sure that the systems don't perform up to the mark is uh, also a form of cyber crime so virus is one form of that and that was in 1982 again a very uh, you know old case registered in here so there are a lot of cases which as as i said in terms of cyber crime which are very old and that is where it all started so spam emails virus are one way of affecting the day to day work of the users or the system or the network now when it comes to the real cyber crime or as you understand you know in a bigger way so in 1981 a guy named ian murphy known as 
captain zap because you know he was the first person convicted of a cyber crime so he acted hacked into the AT&T system one of the biggest uh, telephone service providers in the US and he changed the peak clock times so making sure people could talk more at a very low rates or probably you know at a no rates at all so that was the thing which Ian Murphy did and he was uh, given 1000 community service uh, 1000 hours of community service 2.5 uh, years of probation but again this is very uh, less punishment by 1981 nowadays the cyber crime and the rules are very strict and the sneakers movie which you see on the uh, you know ott platform these days was actually made on this particular thing so you know those who are into the getting the movies into the cyber crime you can watch sneakers now classifying the cyber crimes different types of cyber crime so hacking is one form of cyber crime where you get into somebody's system and then try to steal the information disrupt the working disrupt the network anything then credit card fraud as i said one of the most common uh, frauds performed under cyber crime is credit card fraud it has happened over the internet it has happened through the call centers and lot many ways virus dissemination installing sending viruses via network via email via sms via spam links etc is one of the more common types of cyber crime then cyber terrorism as we know that it's happening a lot over a period of videos in the further part of the series we'll also discuss each of them in detail computer vandalism is getting a lot of people you know involved nowadays software piracy i think uh, you know so saudi di asia is considered one of the bigger markets of software piracy spoofing email spoofing is again a very largely used uh, cyber crime a lot of people uh, fall victim of that so uh, let us understand how cyber crime and information security are connected because as i said over a period of this videos we'll try to connect cyber crime and how we can secure ourselves how the laws are built and everything related to cyber crime will be discussed in series of this videos so basically information security is a potential activity by which we can avoid the you know communication or information or the crime happening within the system and are protected from and or defended against unauthorized use or modification or exploitation or even theft so when i say this let me you know go through it very slowly we are talking about information security is potential set of activities it is not one but it includes what it includes defense it includes uh, you know preventing unauthorized usage it includes you know unauthorized modification or even it includes the stoppage of exploitation and it avoids the theft as well so basically this is a large set of activities over the period of so many years as i said since 1978 till 2020 when this video is getting made there are a lot of you know development in terms of security yes the cyber crimes have become more and more advanced but so is the security so all those uh, measures to avoid the cyber crime or reduce that is what we will be discussing over the period of lectures so that is it uh, for introduction to cyber crime i'm sure you had a very brief understanding of what exactly is cyber crime in the next video and in the further videos we'll be discussing further more topics related to cyber crime and also information security so if you like our video please make sure to subscribe hit that bell button so that you are aware about the new topics coming up and please uh, keep supporting ed technology thank you have a nice day